On the following day, when they came from Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see whether perhaps he would find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. He said to it, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. Then they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling, those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of money changers and the seats of those who sold those. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him, for they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching. And when the evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. Was it just a bad day? Or was it the day that Jesus' anger and frustration spilled over, when he realised that the religious leaders of his day were obscuring the true purpose of his father's kingdom and encouraging the agents of profit and exploitation in their midst? Was it perhaps also an expression of fury that the very people who should be serving and tending the coming to fruitfulness of his father's people were actually blocking their fruitfulness, preventing the tree from bearing figs? touch with the feelings of frustration and anger being expressed. Where do you find yourself in these incidents? What feelings do they bring up in you? Bring these feelings, just as they are, to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Spirit of truth and judgment, who alone can exercise the powers that grip our world. At the point of crisis, give us your discernment that we may accurately name what is evil and know the way that leads to peace. Through Jesus Christ. Amen.